hello friends welcome back uh, so we are again here to discuss the topic projection of lines so if you remember i have four cases in the projection of lines so this is case one in which line is parallel to both the planes case second in which line is inclined to one of the principal plane and parallel to another and third case is line is perpendicular to one of the principal planes and parallel to another and we are discussing this last case in which line is inclined to both of the principal planes okay so uh, already I, I already discussed with you the one question in this case that uh, line ab has been given and and a is given that is how much it is in front of vp and uh, how much above hp and what is the angle with hp it is in this case 45 and what is the angle to vp in this case is 30 degree okay and you are going to make its projections means you are going to make its top view this is top view and you are going to make its front view so this was the previous case and the method to use to make its projection is called rotation method okay so now today we will discuss the next question in this rotation method and we can say that this is just reciprocal of the previous Coastal. So in the previous question, you have true length. Okay, and uh, theta and phi is given. Means theta is the angle with HP that has been given, and phi is the angle with VP that is also given. If you remember it, I'll just give you uh, make your memorable this point that if you remember it, this was line AB. The angle with HP 45 has been given. Angle with VP 30 is given and true length of ab is given which is 60 mm okay so in the present case it is just reciprocal of previous one so in this case you have the complete projections all projections have been given and you are going to find out its true length theta and phi so see here the true length you are have to find out and the inclination with vp that is phi and inclination with hp that is theta you have to find out okay so this was my imagination okay this is a theta angle with hp this is a phi angle with vp and this is a actual length or true length of line ab and these red lines gives your projections of this line this is a front view of line ab this is a top view of line ab so first of all we have to make a projections of this line let's start it so select line okay so okay above hp you are going to make a projection of point a first so above hp it is 20 mm okay so again take a line and in front of vp it is 15 okay so this is my projection i'll make a nomenclature first so this is a dash Okay, select it, go to the properties, go to the text and improve its text height, and let's post 7 or whatever it is. Okay, so I just uh, make it move. This is a dash. Okay, so now it make it copy, put over here and select it. and remove the dash okay so this is your front view of end a and this is a top view of end a okay now you are going to make a projection of point b and it is very much given that end projectors are 60 mm apart okay if it's 60 mm apart it means the distance between their projections you can see here in the imagination the distance between the projections that point a projection and point b projection should be 60 mm this is the case okay so i'll take a line and mark your distance 60 mm like this i'll take like this okay 
so this line represents 60 mm distance so you are going to make a projection of point from here okay so take another line come over here this is the end point okay so now you are going to make a projection of point b so above hp it is 45 okay so and in front of vp it is 55 okay so i'll make a normal feature first so you can understand better way okay i'll take this one and put over here this one and this one then select it and it is a b dash okay so this is b dash okay then again select this one so it is only b because the top view of point b okay so you can see that this is a projection of my line a b and and b has been projected and a has been projected you are just going to make a connection of these points like this and this okay so this is my line a b and basically it is a projection of front view of my line a b and this is a projection of my line a b in the top view so you can see that this has been done a dash b dash and this has been done a b okay so make it something more thick i'll take this one Okay, so this is my projections draw its draw the projection line has been done now and now you are going to make the uh, find out its true length and inclination with hp and vp okay for this you have to rotate your line as the previous case i already told you how to rotate your line so just uh, do something like this okay i'll make a line over here i'll just start my point and Put my line here okay put your ortho on take a line this one like this one okay take a green line just like this again take a line and put over here and again take a line I put over here so this basically so convert this line into your you know that construction type line you know, like this so okay I'll delete it make a line again so it looks like that line okay select this one and convert into like this okay so this is the basically line which represents the locus of point b so this is this point gives your locus of point p okay in the front view and this gives your locus of point p in the top view okay that's why i'll make line like this this is a basically construction type line okay now i'll rotate like uh, this one I'll take a uh, line also from here okay like this up to this one and again take a line from uh, like this one okay now what I am going to do now is to find out its true length I have to rotate my line okay I'll take I start from here I rotate my top view and keep uh, it parallel to your reference line XY line I'll rotate my line up to that point until and unless it this line is parallel to my x y line okay i rotate up to that point only okay so i'll take this one okay so how to rotate your line it is uh, like if you are using drafter and making a drawing with the help of pencil and compass on the drawing sheet so what you do is just put your steel part of the compass over here the steel part of the compass over here and put your pencil over here on this point and make an arc like this make an arc like this okay so but in the autocad we are using command so we are 
just taking a circle command because what is the use of basically compass is compass is used to make a circles so we are using circle command over here this one and i stop my circle up to this point okay so you can see that if you put your steel part of the compass over here and make this distance on the compass and put your pencil point part over here and make an arc like this is it is like this over okay you can stop here now i'll trim the that part which i don't need so this part i don't need so i'll just trim it okay in this now just extend your this one up to your locus point this one stop over here i'll just extend over line towards this point now just connect your a dash with this point okay so now this represents your true length in the front view this line represents your true length in the front view okay okay i'll just make it a different color to understand better way so okay i'll make it green so okay so the green line represents your true length this line okay in in the front view okay so now you can take the dimension of you can take uh, take the dimension of the angle of theta okay this represents theta okay before making a theta dimension i'll take uh, I, i'm going to project my true length in the top view also so again in the to make a true length in the top view you have to rotate your front view on up to that point so that your front view becomes parallel to your xy line okay so how to do that is again if you are using compass put your steel part of the compass over here and pencil part on this point and make an arc okay but you are using autocad so i'll make a circle over here up to this point remember it up to this point over okay you are going to rotate your front view okay so now i don't need this complete circle i need only this arc so i'll trim the other circle like this okay so this has been trimmed so i'll now extend your this point towards your locus stop over here and then just join a point with this point you've got the true length over here also okay so this represents the true length in top view so i'll make this line some again green color so that uh, you can understand better way so this green color okay this green color line represents true length in front view this line true length represents in top view so basically why i am finding true length in both views is because in the question it is asked to find out theta and phi both okay so if you are going to make a theta so let's make over here take uh, just uh, dimension angular dimension so you can see here this line and this line so this is the theta 19 degree is the theta okay in the same way take a dimension again and this one and the screen line this one so this 32 degree is the phi that is angle with vp okay so now you are left with the dimensions with of true length okay so this one and this one uh, 76.4 again take a dimension and this one and this one uh, 76.4 okay so this is my actual length which is 76.4 mm and again in the front view in the top view also 76.4 okay so this is the my case okay now i'm left with only nomenclature just make the nomenclature of these points also okay just i make it uh, like this way 
I'll copy copy any one of the nomenclature. I'll, okay, I'll this one and put over here. Okay, and put over here and put over here. And this is also a point, this point. So I'll put over here. Okay, so now I'll uh, make like this. So this is B1 dash. So I'll make B1 in the subscript like this. Okay, so this point is B1 dash. Okay, and this point is B1 only, B1. Okay and make it subscript like this okay so this is the b1 and the b1 extends towards this one that's why this is b1 dash okay in the same way i'll take like this this is remove the dash because it is in the top view cases so b2 okay so b2 and b2 put in the subscript option like this one so if it, this is B2, I'll take projection like this. So it becomes your B2 dash. Okay, dash because it is in front view. And put your B2 over here like this. So you can see that this is the completion of my coaston with all the nomenclatures. The theta has been done, that is 19 degree. The phi has been done, that is 32 degree. Okay, and the true length has been done that is 76.4 that is 76.4 okay i hope you understand this question this is the second case in the rotation method in the coming videos i'll tell you more examples with the rotation method okay so if you like this video please like this video in the description and subscribe my channel to know the and to find out more videos okay thank you friends